E3 2016 has come to a close and we're bringing you the biggest news from the show floor. I'm Arlo and this is The Gamer's Brief. EA's press conference revealed new footage and details for Battlefield 1, their upcoming shooter. The game takes place in a fictionalized version of World War 1 and boasts some more open world and randomly changing weather elements. No battle is ever the same. 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 It is also being reported that some two battles may or may not be the same, but we're currently awaiting more clarification on that. On Monday, Microsoft revealed perhaps their most unique project yet. They're currently developing a game that's built almost entirely on its dialogue. It humorously explores the concepts of inane banter and one-liners in gaming by constructing a narrative so rife with silly puns that it acts as a sort of parody of popular game genres. The game is Gears of War 4. You look like you need a pick-me-up! That ship came in! <laughs> Out of the storm and into the swarm. For Honor was given an extensive gameplay demo and a new story trailer at Ubisoft's press conference. The company showed off the grand spectacle of one of the game's battle sequences, gave another taste of its intense, tactical, art-of-battle combat system, and even wove a narrative in which the Earth's inhabitants war constantly with each other for a thousand years. It has been reported, however, that none of that was nearly as captivating as Jason Vandenberg's description of the game. Your fleet sails for the lands of the samurai in seeking plunder. Glory. Also announced at Ubisoft's press conference was a what? This is a thing, and there's colors, and it's a game. Why is any of this? There were uh, there were moving. Whoa! Uh, okay, never mind. They announced nothing, and the first few minutes of the show were dead air. Finally, Star Trek Bridge Crew was the single greatest thing to come out of E3, and quite possibly the video game medium itself. And if you disagree, I will physically fight you. Several dozen other games and products were revealed and showcased during E3's various conferences, but seeing as I couldn't think of jokes for them, you'll just have to hear about them somewhere else. I'm Arlo, and you've been watching The Gamer's Brief. Good night, and good game.